So now we're, go now we're going to get going and prepare some of the vegetables. I'm going to start with a, a little bit of garlic, mm -hmm. just to give it just to give it a little bit of flavour. And then when you're using the mandolin, you just need to be very careful. It's mm -hmm. obviously a very uh, sharp for us. You could do this with a knife also if you wanted to. You could to. do it with a knife. You don't or have to do it um, with a mandolin or anything like that. Even if if you were in jail, <laughs> in Goodfellas, you could use the razor blade to slice your garlic. Uh, have you seen I, that? I haven't been to jail yet, <laughs> but uh, could happen in Texas, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Some of these, but um, I hope you've not been to jail. Not yet. You just saw, not it, on yet. The, just saw it on the movies. <laughs> it's on my bucket list. <laughs> so this is a sweet bell pepper that you're using? This is, yes. Okay. Just young ones mm -hmm. that we harvest. They're absolutely beautiful. Now here in Pennsylvania, we won't have these peppers and tomatoes until well into the summer. You're very lucky having the, the That's nice right. warm we, climate. We do. We have a great growing season yeah. there in, in Texas and in the Houston area there. And, you know, honestly... Um, I haven't been there through the summer yet, but they, they tell me oh, it gets ra rather warm. <laughs> um, but we even have some areas that we shade so that we can continue growing in that period of time. Oh, fantastic. Well. A lot of things you can't grow in the hot, hot heat. I know chilies and tomatoes do really well, but things like fennel and the spring onions, um, a lot of cooler weather crops would probably struggle in that hot heat. Yes, yes, they do. So we're going to slice everything together. The mm -hmm. only thing we're keeping a little bit separate is the garlic. And we're going to add that to a little bit of olive oil. All right. And as soon as we're finished blanching there, we can move that and we can just there. Uh, so all I want to do is just warm it, warm it through because everything really is very fresh and mm -hmm. raw for this dish. It's just what I say is um, just a little bit wilted. So you're not looking to really get any color or caramelization on the garlic? No, not okay. at all. And really we're, we're trying to flavor the oil. So we... we Slice all the vegetables, whichever, whichever way, you know, we talked about different techniques. We're using here the mandolin, gets it very thin for us and very, um, you know, because the vegetables are going to stay really raw for us. Oh, nice and crisp. Nice and crisp. Exactly. And this is such an adorable little baby piece of fennel, too. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, we have, we have some very nice, uh, we pick them young, you know, yep. for the, in particular for the, for the restaurant. A lot sweeter that way and more tender and very, very pretty on the plate. Mm -hmm. So it's easy, easy to put together um, very um, eye appealing dishes. Sure. Okay, we don't want to get it too hot. Okay, so take that off the heat. Just take it off the heat. So now we're um, just about, you know, it's very simple. Everything is, um, as I said, fresh and raw. We're gonna do a little bit of tomatoes some different kinds of tomatoes mm -hmm. on the plating up. A little bit of sherry vinegar. Great and in, ingredient. And into you see our, chefs use that all the time on into the show. Our, into our warm oil. Mm. We're going to put, put that into there. And this is, um, this is going to be our sauce for the, for the fish and very the vegetables. Very light, light v dish. Very light, mm -hmm. very flavorful. A little bit of pepper in there. And the idea is, you know, we don't want to have um, it, the fish and the vegetables in that for too long because it will continue to cook it with the vinegar in there. Oh, sure. And we want them to be nice and crispy, nice to go with it. Great. And so I think we're just about ready to plate things up. Excellent. The sauce is very important. We got to... Um, and I noticed, was that a bay leaf you put in there? Put a little bit of bay leaf mm -hmm. in from our garden as well. Excellent. We're going to do a little bit more um, tomato blanching. Okay. And you don't have to blanch the tomatoes. We, we just do that because of, um, you know, it's a little bit better for mm -hmm. flavor, The skin's going to be a little tough. Yeah. So we're just going to nappe a little bit over there. Mm -hmm. Nappe meaning just lay the sauce on top? Just lay it on top. That's right. The last thing that we're going to do, we're going to blanch some tomatoes. All right. We're going to, we have some little beautiful cherries. carrots from our garden here. Oh, look at those. And then we're going to... Just um, clean those up. These are just adorable. Uh -huh. Look at these. <laughs> so on this this one, because the carrots are so small, we're going to just use the guard, which okay. I, I recommend for this, even though it's a, a little tricky. Mm -hmm. You don't always get the, the best yield out of everything, but it is a lot safer for your fingers. Definitely. And then what do you do with this? Um, we can eat that, or we can eat, even just um, put it on like that. You mm. don't have to do all the all the thin stuff. I have to say, this tastes nothing like a grocery store carrot. Well, thank you. It's so much sweeter. 
we're very lucky with our, with our produce mm -hmm. and everything on there. We're, we're very lucky at the farm. Now that was really quick. You had those in there for five seconds. Really, that's all. Hmm. You know? And again, you know, they don't have to be perfectly peeled. We're not, we're not going for that look. They will keep cooking a little bit because uh, we're not cooling them down this time as we move towards plating. Um, but what I, what I like to do is just break them open like that. Oh, wow. And then leave just a little bit of the skin on. And with it, you know, we've got the vegetables just warming there mm -hmm. in, the, in the little pan, but we're not cooking them. We just want them to warm through. Nice. We don't want to cook them, and we're going to um, add a little bit of salt to that. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. this, just a little bit and a little bit of skin like that on there. So shall we move down to Please. our plate with yes. all our ingredients, and then we can hopefully put everything together. Such beautiful colors in this dish. The peppers and the carrots and the fennel. They are. And then, so we just want a, a little bit underneath, and the, the, the garlic is the nice cooked thing, so it won't be, won't be too harsh in the, in the garlic. Be careful with our fish. We've got beautiful flavor there. Very delicate. I can delicate. feel how, how firm that fish yeah. is now. It's just nice, and I can feel it's very moist inside. The fennel looks so nice. I love all of the different shapes that you have. Yeah, uh, you know, you can have fun, fun sure. with food, you know. So what, once we get to a stage like this, we're going to um, add back onto it our mm -hmm. tomato. This is the sauce, so you can do that in any way that you want. And, you know, we need to keep tasting things always when we're putting things together. Of course. Mm. Oh God. Now, just taste that. I did very little with that. So... I think it needs just a touch more salt, but we're going to just mm. put a little bit of the molding on top to give it that crunch. And not everybody likes the salt as much as me, but I the, like flavors, salt. <laughs> the flavors are amazing now. Really all, good. All we did was just dice up some very good tomatoes, added a little bit of um, great um, olive oil. The herbs. It really speaks to the quality of the ingredients in these tomatoes. I haven't eaten a tomato this good since I picked one out of my backyard last September. <laughs> well, that's good. Good to hear. <laughs> so. Just a, now we're just going to finish off and we've got a, a few little um, oh, flowers from the garden. So a little bit of um, pea flowers. Wow. We have um, some um, rosemary flowers in there. We have... Um, oh, how beautiful. This is really farm to table that, cooking. <laughs> you hear a, that word thrown it, around, that phrase, but not everybody's doing it like this. Exactly. And we're, we're very fortunate. Yeah. So, you know, we, we can hardly see the fish now, so that, that's um, important <laughs> that um, someone finds the fish in there, but there's a little bit of surprise. But I think it really, really does show off the inner dust precious and what we have coming out of the garden and our little bit of golf and everything. And now we could add a little bit of fennel herb to it also mm. to garnish it and mm -hmm. to add flavor to it. This is really, I mean, this takes it a step further from farm to table. This is seed to table. 